let's take a look at everything we need to do to get a Strymon Riverside or Sunset working with a Chase Bliss Faves. I'm going to take you from the very beginning. So if you have a Riverside, first thing you need to do is take off the back plate and you're going to see this little USB port right there. What that is is a micro USB, so you're going to need a micro USB cable. And that will plug into that port. And then what you're going to want to do is supply power to the pedal and connect this guy into your computer. I'm not going to show you that part. There's videos online about how to do that. I think I made one that shows all of those steps, but I just wanted to show you where it is inside that pedal. Once you've updated the firmware, it's not ready to go right out of the gate to use with MIDI. There's still a few things you have to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is configure your uh, expression port for MIDI. Think of this as like the port on a Empress pedal where it has kind of a multi-use. It can be expression, it can be MIDI, it can be a bunch of different things. We're going to make this one into MIDI. So first we're going to take the power away, press and hold the favorite, restore power, keep holding until it blinks a few times. Once it stops, you can let go. And then we're going to be looking at this LED. I'm not sure what the default is. It might be red or, or amber. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's hard to tell what that color is through video, but you can see it lighting up on my hands that it, they're red. There's green. And these are for different configurations of that port. That one's amber. And that's blue. So we want blue. Blue is MIDI. That's basically that knob just all the way up. So once you have that blue, you just want to tap it one time. It blinks, it power cycles, and now that port is configured for MIDI. But we still need to set the MIDI channel. Faves sends on channel 2, so we need to change this guy to channel 2. So how do we do that? we're going to press and hold the on button at power up. So it's kind of like we just did. So we're going to press and hold this guy, restore power, blink a few times. Now we're going to be looking at the drive knob. And we're going to be looking at this LED over here. So green is channel one. Can you see that that's green? Amber is channel 2, red is 3, and then you get this blinking blue when you get up high, up in here. And what that is, is 4 through 16. So, say you wanted to set this to channel 5. What the blue means is that it's waiting for a uh, program change, much like Chase Bliss pedals do, and it will assign to whatever channel it receives a program change from. So. Right now, if you wanted to set it to 5, you would plug in a cable and send a program change on channel 5, and that's how you'd do that. But again, we wanted 2, so going up from the bottom, 1, 2. 2 is amber. And then we're just going to tap it one time and get out. Power cycles. So as you know, on Chase Bliss pedals, you need a TRS cable. This is what ships with the faves when you order it. And that's because Chase Bliss has to receive MIDI on the ring of the TRS jack. Some other companies on their TRS jack, they receive MIDI on the tip. Um, so all we're going to need is a standard guitar cable, tip sleeve. And then on your faves, I've wired this one with a switch where I can choose between tip and ring on the output without opening up. That's complicated. What you want to do is open it up, bring these lights back up, and your little uh, jumper here, if you can see it there, it's set on ring. 
And what we want to do is remove that and move it to tip. So this is the jumper. And it's on ring when it's bridging the top two. You can see the R. And it's on tip when it's bridging the bottom two. So I'm just going to place this on the bottom two. It's a little bit easier if you use like tweezers or something. So there we go. As long as you can see that, you can just barely see that pin above it, right up there, little dot. So now we're good to go. This is going to send on the tip, which is what we need. So that's what this guy's doing. And I'm going to put that into that expression jack that we just configured. So now when I cycle through, you can see the LED over here changing. Well, you kind of can. There we go. What that is, is it's amber when it's on presets. And it's red when it goes back to favorite mode, which is uh, bank zero, PC zero. So when you're banking through presets on a Chase Bliss pedal, ignore this for a second and just look over here. That would be preset one, preset two, and your live mode. So instead of doing live mode on a Chase Bliss pedal or on a uh, Strymon pedal, what it does is it goes to your favorite. If you wanted to get to live mode, you have to send uh, bank zero program change 127. That's how you get a live mode on, on this guy. This doesn't send 127, of course. So let's see, where are we at? Uh, let's hear some of this. So let me walk you through setting up presets and then we will see what they sound like as we cycle through. So first let's set up, let's make our favorite be a bypass just for the hell of it. Is that, or is that weird? Let me set up a bypassed preset just so you can see how this works. <clears throat> this is similar to how Brothers and Condor both save uh, bypass information on the program change. This um, keeps you from having to send a CC to engage or bypass the pedal, which is pretty handy. So let's set up our first preset as bypassed. Not that you might actually do this, but I just want to show you how it works. And it's also a preset and waiting, so if you uh, engage it, bypassed, and then you want to access that preset on the next move, you can. So first we're going to set up the preset. Let's make it kind of a mild overdrive. sounds fine. So what we're going to do is it's what it does is just like brothers it saves the current configuration. So off is our configuration that we want. We wouldn't want to do it with it on. We want to have it off. And to save a preset you press and hold over here until this LED starts blinking blue. And what it's doing now is it's waiting for us to send a program change. So I'm going to send it with the faves and it turned amber, and that's how we know that that preset has been saved. Now when I cycle around, when this turns red, it should bypass the pedal, and preset is loaded. So bypassed, obviously. Just my clean guitar. And then when I engage, uh, it's going to activate that that low overdrive. And obviously this is true no matter how the pedal's set up. So if we turn the level all the way down, drive all the way up, make it completely not what it was, doesn't matter. It's still loaded. Alright, so let's set up the next preset. 
let's make this one kind of like what you'd have for like a solo boost or something, something a little more. <laughs> That's fine. So we're going to press and hold again until it starts blinking blue. Send it that next program change. And that means that it's saved. And then for that fave, that favorite, not fave, favorite, too many faves in my face right now. Let's set up, um, I forget how to save the favorite Strymon pedal. All right, so that's why I got confused. I went and looked it up. And it was what I kind of thought, where you press and hold the favorite switch for three seconds. But that's how we uh, save a MIDI preset now. So let's see if we can save, and what I want it to sound like, just so we know we have something, is kind of a thinned out, um, high gain. That's fine. And let's see if this saves it this way now using MIDI. All right, so it lit up red. So to me, that means that it's probably saved. Let's see. Let's run these through and see what we get. So, favorite. There's our low overdrive. And then next press will be our higher gain. Yeah. So these have all saved properly. So that's how you save the first three preset slots on your faves in a Riverside. If you have any further questions, you can leave them in the comments below or you can email me at paul at chasebliss Thanks for watching. <laughs>